UFC women's flyweight contender looking to become the new champion here tonight. There is no denying she has every tool and every skill you could want, and she has all the makings of a UFC champion. Let's see if the pressure gets to her here tonight or if she can put forth a similar performance that, of course, has led to this monumental opportunity here tonight. So here she is, the UFC Women's Flyweight Champion, all smiles as she makes the walk here tonight, looking to go out the way she came in as the undisputed champion at 125 pounds. Most people believe it is gonna take a huge effort from one of these fellow contender types to dethrone this UFC Women's Flyweight Champion. Let's see how she does in this defense here tonight. Almost ready to go with this one. Here is tonight's tale of the tape. So a more than five year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age, and they both possess the same height and a similar reach. All right, we send it back inside the octagon. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Bergliata. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Our rounds for the undisputed UFC Flyweight Champion. Ship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This woman is a kickboxer, holding professional record of 15 wins, three losses. She stands five feet five inches tall, weighing in at 125 pounds. Presenting the challenger, Alexa Grossa. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This woman is a Muay Thai fighter, holding a professional record of 23 wins, three losses. She stands five feet five inches tall, weighing in at 125 pounds. Fighting out of Bishkek, Kyrgyzstan, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC flyweight champion of the world. Valentina Bullet Shevchenko! All right, this is for the UFC Championship. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back to your corners, come out fighting. Two decorated strikers here. I would think even a world-class wrestler like yourself still enjoys a classic stand-up affair like this every now and then. Oh yeah, I love this. I love this one because both of these women know that the easiest way to get their hands raised is to fight in the area that they are best. Both of them are fantastic strikers. One is much more powerful, one is much more quick. Let's see who gets the job done. Oh, the right hand is there for... <laughs> So gets caught with that punch. Shevchenko's got the tie clinch. She's got a good one. Real nice body kick land. Just unable to quite find that range. And Superman punch lands. Oh, hook shot blocked there by Shevchenko. Another punch for 
position. Beautiful kick. Stuffs the takedown shot there. How good is her takedown, D? Ooh, big shot to the body. All right, both women now continuing to try to get a more dominant position here in the clinch. I can hear Dominic Cruz just screaming underhooks. My ears are bleeding a little bit. Yeah, underhook, underhook, underhook. It's the key in that position. You got to control the underhook to win offensively and control the underhook if you're trying to escape defensively. And she caught the kick. So again, they will clinch here. Nice punch by Grosso. Well, she continues to leave that head open, and she paid for it there. She's almost moving into the strike. She hasn't changed up her tempo, and she continues to keep her head on that center line. We'll see if she can make the proper adjustments here. That's a big hook. Three minutes and counting to go here in round one. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Alexa Grosso. Timing her shots nicely here tonight, DC. She's doing a great job, but not only being active, she is so accurate. She's on point tonight. Left hook. Strike right there, DC. Great shot landed. Now she's got to go chase it down and get another one off to finish the fight. Kick. Oh, she landed a big knee to the body. <laughs> Trying to hammer that lead leg. Oh. <laughs> big leg kick lands. Beautiful punch. <laughs> She's starting to put together some significant body work here, and these are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. DC, for my money, she's really timing her shots pretty well here tonight. Her timing, accuracy, and also the activity level is great tonight. Grosso gets caught by that straight hand. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Big knee. Ninety seconds and counting here in our opening round. Kick lands. Nice one, two there. Rosso gets touched by that leg kick attempt. All right, so both fighters now sort of struggling for position here in the clinch. When you find yourself in this situation, what do you do to get out of it? Anytime it's very tough, anytime you're chest to chest and you have nowhere to go, I think to myself, underhook. Whoever's winning the underhook is winning the clinch battle. Oh, big punch lands. That was a thudding leg kick. Beautiful straight punch, and now her opponent's firmly on the ropes. But she can't take pictures now. She has to react. She has to go chase the finish. Just a slip there. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. And they separate. Final seconds of round one. Look at the turtle in that kick. Oh, nice hook by Grosso. So a huge moment for her in that previous round, DC, as we show you some of the highlights. The knockdown nearly closed the show for her. Yeah, and that's what we're going to focus on. We're going to focus on the knockdown because it looked like the fight was over. Now, is her opponent tough? Yes. But is her opponent smart enough to make the necessary adjustment as this fight goes forward? Okay, round two. You ready? You ready? All right, round two. Oh, that's a nice strike. 
Well, she's so confident in her defense and her ability to block shots, and, and now you see why. You see all she learned from her background in boxing that allows her to be so effective defensively. Right punches there. Big kick. Well, you hate to be overly critical because she has landed some. Her best strike in the fight. Her best strike, and you don't see this type of power normally in this weight class. She lands, and she lands very effectively. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Nice strike. Nice defense here. Single leg takedown attempt will not materialize. Well, she said in these situations she had to protect her head, and defensively she has done an outstanding job of that. She could. And there it is. So her best entry, I think, in terms of the offensive wrestling and the takedown attempts finally gets her opponent down for the first time tonight. It feels like she gave up on getting the takedown, so it started to flow more naturally. Right. She was not forcing her entries anymore. Just let it come to her, and now she's got the takedown to speak for. Crossos back into full guard. Oh, sage work from the bottom here as she tags her with the punch. Well, you gotta stay busy from the bottom position. Can't falter here. She's doing a nice job. All right, the unofficial numbers thus far. 76 total strikes have landed now for Alexa Grosso. While well, the accuracy rate not great, below 40% now. 38% on the connections against Valentina Shevchenko. Lands a big elbow there. Under three minutes to go here in round two. Oh, nice strike there to the body. She has worked the midsection to great effect here in this round. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. And she connects with a punch there, champ. She's so accurate. She's so good at timing all of her strikes. Two there by Grosso. Oh! Can't take pictures now. She has to react. She has to go chase the finish. Oh, beautiful kick by her there. She just gets that foot off the canvas to the target so quickly. She does not give her opponent any. Oh! oh. She snapped her head back there. This could be the end. She landed a massive uppercut that hurt her opponent very, very bad. Well, we sat down with her on Thursday. She said it's all coming together, and she has put on a striking clinic tonight. Clearly her best performance in the UFC. The only danger was if her opponent would get it to the ground. She could not, and you saw how well a high-level striker could work. Double leg takedown. Down. That's her best shot. Good again. Well committed to the body work. You see the results. Look at the redness on the right side of her body. She postures up here, DC. We'll see if she can get those ground strikes. Here. Watch for the huge elbows that she's known for. Half guard position for her here. And if you're the bottom fighter, this is truly a case of, of pick your poison. Yeah, you got to pick your poison. And if you're on the bottom, you got to be trying to find a way to escape that bottom leg. You cannot allow your opponent, you cannot allow her to sit on your leg and just throw big damage and strikes. You've got to make sure you're on an elbow control, you're underhook, and getting back to your feet. We have now hit the final minute of this championship fight. Well, she has certainly picked up the pace here in round two and starting to find herself in the pocket a little bit. She was a little bit hesitant in round one. No hesitancy whatsoever here in round two. She has... You get up, you go down as another takedown and hit land. All right, so her ground control is outstanding. Half guard is when she's at her most dangerous. Yes, yeah, she's at her most dangerous when she has the half guard because she's so brutal with the ground and pound. She likes to go after fighters and really wear on them, force them to make decisions to give their backs so that she can chase her submissions or they're gonna lay on their back and just get beaten up from the top from that beautiful half guard position. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Grosso. Wow, there is just a viciousness with which she operates here on the ground as she continues to get the ground and pound game going. She might get a finish here. She's looking for a finish. She's so good at dictating these ground exchanges, and she's doing a fantastic job 
of building posture to try to land that kill shot from the top. All right, so there it is, the end of the round. Somehow she survives and advances after getting knocked down with a big punch there in that round. She's tough. She's durable. But she cannot continue to take strikes like this. She needs to move her head on the center line. She cannot be a stationary target if she has any desire to win this fight. You ready? You ready? All right, here we go with this third round of this championship fight. Oh, and she connects there, so the hands look good tonight. Great timing to land that punch. Can't take many of those, better check. Oh, she lands an uppercut to the head. That will leave a mark. <laughs> That'll leave a mark. John, I love when you say that. That's one of my favorite John Anik's Hey, man. Tommy boy, right? There's no give on that leg kick. Well, they don't let you wear headgear, but she don't need it tonight, right? Beautiful job of this. She's doing a great job of blocking up top. Nothing of any substance has landed to this point. Nice head kick. Oh! Whoa! You can never know what you're gonna see with this young lady. Is she gonna finish the fight? Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High level grappling can really be entertaining. All right, half guard position for her here, and this is a spot where we've seen her have a lot of wild success in previous fights. She has a tremendous amount of success. Shevchenko's trying to get a triangle submission here. Side control now. Maybe some of those knee strikes to the body. A lot of different things available to her here. Now, in the side control, you may feel like the bottom person that you have a lot of out, but there is a lot of danger in those positions too. A lot of danger in the knees coming your way. A lot of danger in the chokes. So you have out, but you're also constantly under duress from a great combo. So make it 151 total strikes which have connected for Alexa Grasso. And connecting at a 44% clip tonight. Oh, there, and just like that, the fight is over. It's over. It's over. It's over. <laughs> well, that was just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. Absolutely flush on the land. And I'm not even sure her opponent saw it coming. So sometimes it's the strike you don't see coming that spells your fate. And ultimately, it goes in the books as a big knockout win for her here tonight. And there she is, the UFC Women's Flyweight Champion of the World. And what a finish we saw from this woman here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliotta has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 35 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout, Alexa Grasso! So how about this, champ? We got a new UFC Women's Flyweight Champion. Can DC get an invitation to the after party? I mean, I'm just place? trying to show up, baby. I already got, I'm, I've already started to push my chair back away from the table. I want to celebrate with the champ. She had a party in the octagon tonight, and it will continue at the after party. Good job, champion. Great job. Congratulations.